people might be aware, um, there was an injunction um, taken out on nine named people last, last week. There was an interim injunction. That injunction was lifted on the nine people last week, but not really because there was a, a the injunction then was taken out on anybody that protests over there that um, was, in their opinion, were was intimidating or breaking the law in any way uh, would be lifted. So that really says anybody that protests. But there was, uh, I, I'd say overall there was about a hundred of us over there at three or four different areas in um, the Edenmore area uh, yesterday. Now, I was quite surprised um, to hear when I came home last night at about six o'clock that uh, there was five people uh, being hauled back to court on Monday. But uh, that's how they're going to try and break the ordinary people of this country. They do all the time, any time the Irish people, the ordinary people on the street, raise their head above the parapet themselves, that they take action themselves, that they realise themselves that the only way that they can sort of break anything or show their opposition to anything is by coming out on the streets and by showing that. And what, what the powers that be seem to always do is that they always... I forgot I have a sandwich in my hand. <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, yeah. But um, what the powers that be always do, as I said, they will try to crush us with fear, with fear of, of jailings, with fear of, uh, you know, the name in the paper or whatever, they, whatever, whatever is your fear, they'll try and sort of highlight that and heighten it for you. Well, the only thing that I can say to you, the only fear that we have is fear uh, in ourselves just not to move forward. If we stand together strong as a collective people, right, standing against what's unjust in this country, the water tax is only one thing. We've had many others and I won't, um, you know, I won't highlight them. We all know what they are. We all know that we're to our, the pin of our collar trying to live. And regardless of whether your opposition to the water charges is on an uh, economic uh, basis, personally, I think uh, Irish water, or not Irish water, but water itself is a human right. It's not a commodity. It's not something that should be bought and sold to the, you know, to the highest bidder. And that is what's going to happen. It happened in the bin charges. People will remember that uh, t 10 years ago. Um, that uh, they, people said, the council said, things aren't going to be privatised or whatever. We know, and the campaign that was uh, around that time, the anti-bin charge campaign, that was one of the things that they campaigned on was that it was going to be privatised privatized and given to, uh, not necessarily the highest bidder, but I suppose the biggest gangster. And in the end, that, has, that did happen. It's come to pass. And we see what our waste service, the chaos it's in at the moment. We saw the lockout of uh, ordinary workers in uh, Greyhound for, uh, God, what was it, about 16, 17, 14 weeks, a lady here has said, so for 14 weeks. So this is what we're going to have if we don't stand up as ordinary people. So I would say to you is please do not be fe fearful. There's enough people around here that have been involved in different campaigns, as I said. During the other, the bin charge campaign, a number of people, and I know people from your own area went uh, to prison, like, um, I think it was uh, well, Mick, uh, Mick Murphy and a couple of other people from here. But in Finglas, five women went, and me being one of them. So I just say to people, I'm still here. I haven't, didn't vanish off the face of the earth just because I went to prison for two weeks. So don't be afraid, we have to learn to stand up. And that's where I got my voice. And my voice hasn't stopped since, as a lot of people will, will verify to that. They might, I go on a little bit and I apologize, but we, need, but we need to stand strong. And people need to know that it's not the end of the world if they threaten us with things. Because there's strength in unity. And once we stay together and we unify and stop this sort of any sort of falling out over petty little things or whether this person's theory is different to that person's theory on, on A, B or C.
right? We've got to stand together and stand united as a people. And that's where we're going to win this. So we're going to move on now in about, I think it's about four or five minutes, we're going to move on and then it'll be... During the march, um, we'll be asking people maybe to voice their own opinions on the, uh, the speaker as we go along as to why they're there, why you are marching, and what you want to see, maybe. Whatever you want, you just say it, right? So we'll be going around, because after all, it's, this is the people's march. It's not for anybody else, only us collectively as a people, okay, to stand strong. But remember, unity and strength, and don't fear the fear. You know what I mean? Just do it. If you think it's right, do it, okay? okay.